Our international affairs editor, Dominic Waghorn, has this report. And uh, just to warn you that it contains distressing images. In retreats, Russian forces have revealed a grisly trail of evidence of war crimes. The world's response has been swift and unanimous. This guy is brutal. And what's happening in Bucha is outrageous. And everyone's seen it. I think it is a war crime. We will not rest until these criminals have been brought to justice. It's clear that there is clear evidence of war crimes. It was the Russian army that was in Butcher. International justice must prevail. Across Ukraine, Russians have been accused of targeting civilians and their property. A clear war crime, but other atrocities too. In Bucha, there's at least one mass grave with civilian bodies. Elsewhere, civilians have been tied up and executed. Across the Kyiv region, say Human Rights Watch, there were multiple rapes, summary executions, the murder of women and children and looting. There's been systematic and deliberate destruction of civilian property. Authorities in Chernihiv say 70% of the city has been destroyed. Drone footage suggests that barely a building has been untouched by the bombing and shelling of Mariupol. There's no one single outrage, more a pattern of deliberate destruction of civilian infrastructure and the massacre and terrorization of hundreds, if not thousands, of civilians. Since Yugoslavia and Rwanda, international prosecutors have become better at identifying suspects and prosecuting them. Ukrainians have begun compiling evidence already to hand to prosecutors from the International Criminal Court. Ukrainian human rights experts say the list of Russian suspects will be long, from President Putin down. As the practice shows of the ICC and uh, International Criminal uh, Tribunals for Rwanda and former Yugoslavia, it doesn't matter if the person is, uh, was a president or general or uh, the person was officer, sergeant or soldier. It, it, it matters what crimes were committed. Ukraine may be a victim of war crimes, but it's also a place of authority on the laws surrounding them. In particular, two legal scholars from this city, Lviv, who practically invented the concepts of genocide and crimes against humanity in international law. Work pioneered by Ukrainian lawyers at the Nuremberg Nazi trials in the aftermath of World War II, now tragically relevant again to the people of Ukraine. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News, Lviv.